Hey everyone, it's Monica Regan here and I am an independent up here consultant and I am coming to you today with a meal prep video which is on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> it's dark out because it's winter but this also took me way too long. So I've learned a few tips <laughs> tricks today which I will employ next week and this video will be up earlier so you can do it with me. I'll give you a shopping list and we'll have some fun with it. For today though, if you are interested in seeing what I have meal prepped, I'm gonna let you know how um, I've come to this meal plan and why I'm doing this. So the very short version of that story is, Epicure has an epic life challenge every few times a year it happens. And um, I wanted to do it last year, I set myself all up to do it last year and I just pff, didn't do it. Um, this year I am committed, which means that I'm gonna be doing these meal prep videos every Sunday for three months. And we're going to see the health effects. I'm going to be able to document the health effects it has on me, the weight loss potentially it has. It's been a very indulgent Christmas, but I also never used to have to worry about this. And now um, in my mid to late 40s, it's, uh, it's something that seems to be taking over a little easier. So we're going to hopefully see the, good, the back of that. Um, but also really, this is about health and it's about eating well and it's about planning meals for my family so that we are not left grabbing something out of the freezer at the last minute or overindulging on other stuff. So everything's ready to go and super healthy. So the first few days, there's kind of an optional reset and I'm gonna run that reset. So it's a little simpler than normal. Um, it's gonna be smoothies for breakfast. It's going to be a uh, nourish bowl for lunch and it's gonna be a very simple protein, uh, complex carb and veg dinner. So breakfast, um, I have prepped these smoothies. So I've got the, my daily smoothie pack here. This one, uh, the recipe is a banana, two oranges, a quarter of an avocado, and uh, it's meant to be cranberries, which I think is actually gonna be better than what I've got in here, which is blueberries, but I forgot to get cranberries at the store. So we're gonna go with blueberries, although I did have some pom leftover pomegranate, um, cause I'd opened one up and we didn't eat it all. So some of them have pomegranate, so that'll be good. Um, and then what I'm gonna add to that is a cup of uh, Greek yogurt. Now I happened to grab the 0%. I thought I'd actually grab the 2% and I do actually think that there's value in having some fat in there, especially for satiation, because this is not a huge breakfast. However, this is what I've got. So it's what I'm going to use next time I get yogurt for uh, smoothies, I'll be sure to get the 2%. So that's going to be a cup of yogurt. I'm going to throw my little pack in here and then um, the suggestion in the recipe, which I've never done before, is to add tea. So I have brewed up um, enough for the whole week, so it's only a quarter of a cup of tea. And the suggestion was to use our turmeric and ginger tea, which is what I've done. Um, and so we have a, a turmeric and ginger. Um, so I've brewed this up and I've actually added the honey to it, which the smoothie does suggest having a couple tablespoons of honey in. Um, I've added the honey to the tea just to cut that down and make it a little more simple. I obviously didn't want to put the yogurt and the honey in here and I'm not going to put the tea in there, but I'm going to have everything ready. So it's going to be so simple and quick. That's going to be breakfast. Now, after five days, I will switch it up and I will be doing some steamer um, oatmeal. So I'll talk a little bit more about this. Maybe I'll do another video on how to do oatmeal in the steamer. Of course, there's always the overnight oats options. There's lots of great things for breakfast that we can do, but I'm keeping it really simple with the smoothies this week. Next up, lunch. So I am notorious for not eating breakfast. I am notorious for not really eating lunch <laughs> and basically living on coffee for most of the day and then getting really hungry around two or three o'clock and then being like, ah. So no wonder, you know, the, 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 I've got the little tummy you spare tire happening here because that's not a healthy way to eat because when I'm grabbing at two three in the afternoon it's not necessarily healthy and then I'm making this dinner but then I'm not that hungry and so having this lunch prepped is going to be awesome so I'm going to be making good bowls um, and what I have done here is I have prepped everything I need for them I've got um, the base is going to be baby kale which is pre-washed and ready to go so I don't need to do anything with that I chopped up some cucumbers and some tomatoes so I throw those on I have steamed with our lovely vegetable seasoning, um, a bunch of sweet potato, and that was really easy. Like I, I was kind of like, oh, sweet potato, what a pain. It's actually really easy in the steamer, so that, that was awesome. 
Um, and I stumbled a little bit of it and it's really good with this vegetable. I didn't know what I would think of it on here, but it's actually really nice. So you could put all kinds of seasoning on here. You could flavor this with any particular kind of style of flavoring, but I wanted to keep it kind of a little bit neutral and the vegetable is like a nice seasoning, vegetable, simple uh, seasoning. I also have, and it's not ready yet. Um, well, it is ready, but it's not in the, in the prep bowl, in my prep container yet. I have some chickpeas. So these are going to go in my Buddha bowl as well. And this is going to be my source of protein. So I'm going to put these in here so they're ready to go. This was three cans, three small cans of chickpeas. Uh, kind of fit perfectly on the, um, on the sheet pan. And if you don't know about our sheet pan liners, these things are amazing because I can take this silicone sheet pan liner. Now this sheet pan has seen a little bit of uh, wear and tear, but I can actually take this off here and the sheet pan itself is totally clean. So that goes back into my, you know, under the oven where I keep my sheet pans. This goes in the dishwasher and the cleanup's done. I used to hate cleaning sheet pans and this is a really nice, awesome, um, really clever tool that Epicure came up with uh, to solve that issue of gunky stuff sticking to your sheet pan. So that'll be, those will go into my, uh, into another one of my prep containers here. And I will be adding those to my Buddha bowl. So I will have my kale, my veg, my sweet potato as my carbs, my chickpeas as my protein. And then I made up a, um, a bottle of balsamic, just a straight, simple balsamic with our balsamic vinaigrette. I love these cruets. Um, I love our, our salad dressings. They're so good. Um, so this one is uh, olive oil, balsamic, and the seasoning, and it just gives it a lot of flavor. So that's going to be my source of fat in that meal. So that's going to be lunch for the week. And then finally, we have dinner. So dinner is uh, chicken, but you could do this vegetarian so easily. Uh, if you were to do this with black beans um, or um, tofu even would work. So what I did was I steamed some chicken here with my fajita seasoning. And this one's actually done now because um, we go through a lot of this. This is really lovely, this fajita seasoning. So I steamed up some chicken with our fajita seasoning and I actually could have put bell peppers in here um, and a lot of people would do that. I don't just simply because uh, we have a bell pepper issue in our house. So this is our chicken, uh, my chicken cut into strips. I use scissors and if you've seen my video earlier about how I like didn't know you could use scissors to cut food until I came up with a pair of kitchen shears, I always love cutting my chicken up. I, I used to drive me nuts trying to slice it into strips. So I put the strips in here um, and I've done, uh, I put an onion in as I say with the fajita seasoning. Now it's, I'm not sure if I can show you but there's so much liquid in here which is amazing because this steamer had nothing but chicken and onions in it. It had no oil, no water, nothing. So it steamed itself in the onion and in the moisture from the chicken. It's beautifully cooked and it comes out. It's never dry. I love, love, love this thing. I'm absolutely blown away by it. Our steamers go in the microwave and they can go in the oven. So if you're not a microwave person, and I totally respect that because I wasn't for a long time, um, this will actually work just as well in the oven uh, to steam your food. It also comes with a little tray so you can layer it up and I could put like some, I could put my bell peppers on the top or some, you could do chicken and broccoli or whatever you want to do. You can steam meat and veg together with a tray, which I will show you. Uh, yeah, it's actually right here. I'll show it to you. So this is the tray that goes in, um, inserts in, and then you can kind of steam things in layers. So that's pretty cool. So that will go into another one of my prep dishes. It just hasn't been transferred in yet. Um, and so that's going to be chicken. And then what I did was, um, I love this. I think it's called, I always call it Bundaberg. It's actually, I think it's Lundeberg <laughs> rice. Um, it's, so it's like a mix of a bunch of different rices and it's just, I just love it. I love the textures and the different, um, you know, the, the different grains of the rice. So I did this with, uh, what did I use in it? Some broth. Okay, so this was uh, water and the broth together, also done in the steamer in the microwave. Um, 
I just stuck it in there and forgot about it while I was prepping other stuff and then it was done and good to go. Now this rice does take a long time and I find even if I'm doing it on the stove top, which I don't really do anymore, but when I used to use it and do it on the stove top, it would take way longer and more water than the package said. So I found the same experience with the microwave, but in the steamer, but it's done and it's lovely and it smells so good. I just want to eat it. It's so it's really, and that's a little thing I never used to do. I never used to put broth in with my chicken, but it makes a huge, or with my rice, but it makes a huge difference. It really gives it a nice flavor. So I'm going to have my complex carbs there with my multi-grain rice. I'm going to have my chicken and I am missing something. Oh, and I'm going to season that up. Oh, of course, we're going to have a little bit of, uh, of a salad on the side. Uh, and I'm going to season the salad with salsa. And I'm going to use my fat is going to come through in the, um, in the guacamole I've made. So I made a really big portion of each of these because obviously I can use them for other things. I can, you know, add it to stuff for the kids. Uh, you know, they can dip chips in it after school if they're hungry, but I've got enough for myself in this meal as well. And, um, for everybody as we have this meal. So I, to do the salsa, um, I used canned tomatoes. So um, I actually just put them in the mic in the micro in the Vitamix. Uh, so you can use any blender really with a ca uh, some canned tomatoes, and our poco picante, and a little bit of lime, and that's it. And it's really nice. Now I would have never in a million years dreamed of doing it that way, um, and I do love my fresh salsas where I chop up you know my whatever peaches or. Um, tomatoes or even strawberries or whatever um, I do love those salsas too but again I wanted to this to be something I could do quickly and it actually tastes really good like that um, and then the guacamole of course is um, avocados and our guacamole dip mix and this is just a such a nice flavor it has a really lovely flavor and then a splash of lime um, if you have a little bit of cilantro you could add some cilantro on here I know that's another hit and miss thing for people. They either love it or hate it, the cilantro. Um, but that's our guacamole mix. And that's going to be my dinner. Um, so that's my week of meal prep. And uh, as I said, this took me longer than it should have. But I had a few hiccups along the way, including needing to go to the grocery store this morning with my children, which took about five times as long as it should have. So I promise you, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I will be um, setting, uh, doing this earlier and setting it up a little better for you in the coming weeks. So look forward to my next video next weekend, uh, which is the second weekend of January and we will meal prep away some really healthy, lovely food. I'd love your feedback. If you have tips for meal prepping, if you have ideas or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Um, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you over on my VIP page on Facebook. If you're not already there, have an amazing day, everyone.